Hi, everyone. Um, Amy just checked uh, Twitter, and we are trending very well on Twitter. We are number one currently, so please keep tweeting. We're above Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> so, my six minutes is running. I'm going to talk about assessing and developing citizen science projects. And uh, why do we want to do this? Why do we want to assess projects? Uh, this process started with um, working with Glenn Scholes, who's here today and will come up and answer questions afterwards if you like, um, working on marine parks in South Australia. And we wanted to make sure that people who were involved in setting up citizen science projects for marine parks had a common understanding of what citizen science was, understood the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats in citizen science, that they could compare projects on an equal standing. Um, and improve projects if they're already existing and avoid developing projects um, in a piecemeal way or that have already been developed somewhere else. So avoid duplication. And on a state level there are already projects in South Australia. On a national level there are citizen science projects that are uh, running in the marine space and on an international level as well. So we really need to cast our eyes widely if we want to understand this space. Uh, marine parks were established uh, in the last 10 years in South Australia. And there's a few relevant programs for citizen science that support uh, the marine management of the marine parks. Uh, firstly, stewardship, so community engagement and education, and that's something we can do with citizen science. Uh, performance, so um, measuring the impacts of the marine parks, something that citizen science can contribute to. And the NRM regions are also uh, uh, across local issues and getting the local communities involved, something that citizen science can do. So we wanted to see what was ex existing in citizen science, but we also we wanted to explore new ideas. And there was some funding through the program for citizen science projects, uh, music to citizen science project practitioners' uh, ears. Um, we, ex we had some workshops where we explored uh, the citizen science projects that were already existing. We talked about what citizen science was generally, so that everyone in the workshops participating in the marine parks groups had a really good understanding of citizen science and what it could achieve. Um, and we focused in on marine projects. So we did some analysis of marine projects. We looked at things like Reef Life Survey, uh, Red Map, and other projects that are focused in the marine area. And um, through that process of comparing those projects, we developed a, a template that we could use uh, to assess citizen science projects evenly. So here's a, it's a two-page template. Uh, it's designed to be the sort of thing that someone that's interested in developing citizen science projects could sit down uh, and do in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, or you can spend more time and put more effort into it in depth. But after 10 to 15 minutes, if you uh, uh, know a little bit about citizen science and know about the area you're wanting to study, you should be able to uh, answer most of the questions there. And if there aren't some that you can answer, you, you are sort of guided to what you need to go and do some more research on to make sure you understand this project fully to get it up and going. So first of all, step one, a project brief. Give your project a name, um, have a look at that uh, spectrum of what type of project it is that was mentioned in the last presentation, um, what's the aim of the project, make sure you understand that, and what sort of activities uh, are the participants and the scientists going to be involved in. Then look at the outcomes of the project. Um, the chief scientist talked about three important aspects of citizen science. Um, I've often talked about three important aspects too, and I think they are research, education and engagement and all good citizen science projects will have those three aspects in them. Not necessarily all to the same level. So some projects focus really heavily on the research, others focus really heavily on the engagement. And that's mentioned in the, in the template as well. So rate how important each of those is and describe how that's going to be addressed through the project. And importantly, who's going to do that? Who's going to be involved in creating that part of thing? And a really important part of citizen science projects is getting the right people on the team to deliver the project. And then thirdly, doing an analysis of the project, so um, looking at a whole range of aspects of the project to make sure you haven't missed anything in your thinking about setting this project up, how you might do that and how much it might cost. Um, so scale and complexity. Are there similar uh, projects around the world that you can either collaborate with or that you can learn from? How are you going to engage the citizen scientists? How are you going to manage the data? Um, how are you going to feed back uh, to the citizens involved? What are the logistics involved? Uh, what's the commitment from the citizen scientists? What's the commitment from the agency? And how are you going to maintain that if you set up a project? And, of course, the costs. So after running through these workshops um, with the Marine Parks Group, we had some really good feedback. So people were, um, were really happy to be working with um, people around the state, uh, outside of their local group, talking about citizen science and, and what they might do for citizen science in South Australia for marine parks. 
They recognise the need to bring in collaborators on projects, couldn't necessarily deliver them on the local scale, so either across the department or bringing in other collaborators from universities or interstate or overseas. Uh, also the, uh, the need to communicate regularly, which has now been happening more often on citizen science in the marine area. Uh, the template enables this rapid assessment of projects. Uh, it enables a uniform a project, a, approach to project assessment, so you can compare projects. And it ensures that you're thinking about all, all the different angles of, uh, of citizen science when you're assessing projects. It's available online. There's a link down the bottom there. It's the Discovery Circle website, and click on the Resources tab. Uh, I'll leave a card here if anyone wants to grab one. Um, the projects that were put forward were assessed by the um, Marine Parks Coordinators Group and um, some of those got up and got funded and are now in action. Uh, additionally, DUNA now has a, the Department of Environment now has a register of all citizen science projects. There are 28 projects across the state that are active in citizen science. And the template's been used for more than what we just set it up for. So the NRM regions have been using it for planning other types of projects. It's been used in community group workshops to look at citizen science. And it's been used as a guideline document to um, help inform other development of, of grant applications and project management. So it's been quite useful for people involved. Thanks very much.